Thank you so much. I've created something brand new for you this evening, and it's hanging high in the air inside that box. But before we get to that, I'm going to need somebody from the audience to help me. So let's see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. You, ma'am, right here in the maroon. Do you mind helping me? You can stay seated. OK, and what I want you to do is point to anyone around you that you don't know. We need this to be random, OK? So point to somebody. OK, you, ma'am, in the black, do you mind helping? You can stay seated. And it's important to know we don't know each other and we didn't set anything up, right? Excellent. Ma'am, we're going to get you a microphone. But in the meantime, I want to draw your attention to this box hanging high in the air. Now, magicians are pretty famous for being able to produce doves out of nowhere. But I'm the only magician in the world that can produce any bird named. There are over 9,000 different species of birds, and I can produce any of them. So ma'am, please say out loud any bird in the entire world. Um, um, blue jay. Blue jay? Yeah, Out sure. of all the birds. <laughs> OK, all right. Blue jay. Here we go. Check this out. Blue jay. Blue jay egg. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Yes. Now, unfortunately, I'm allergic to all of the birds, so this is the next best thing. Simon, this is for you. In thank case you. a blue jay starts to hatch, okay. let me know, OK? Howie, for you, what I have is a deck of cards. I'm oh. going to leave this in front of you. Please don't touch it till the very end, OK? I'm easy. Excellent. I won't touch anything. Howie, in a deck of cards, there are picture cards and number cards. Which ones would you like to remove from the deck, the picture cards or the number cards? The number cards. Number cards. So we'll remove all the number cards. Mel B, that leaves the picture cards, the jacks, the queens, and the kings. I want you to narrow those down to a four of a kind. So which would you like, the jacks, the queens, or the kings? Up to you. Queens. OK, excellent. <laughs> now, Heidi, we're down to four cards, the queen of clubs, queen of hearts, queen of spades, and queen of diamonds. I want you to change your mind a few times so you're certain it's a random decision and narrow it down to one card. Queen of Diamonds. Queen of Diamonds. OK, so we've narrowed 52 cards down to one, the Queen of Diamonds. Howie, look inside the box. Are you kidding me? Check it out. What's inside? There's, there's nothing. There, it's empty. That would have been cool, though. That would have been cool. That would have been pretty good. Yes, that would have been great. But you would have expected that. If there would have been a Blue Jay in the box, you would have expected it. If the Queen of Diamonds would have been in the box, you would have expected it. But there's one place that nobody expects the Queen of Diamonds to be. In the egg. No. In the egg. Simon, I have a little dish here for you in a rag in case it gets messy. What I want you to do is crack open that egg into the dish. And inside, where there should be a blue jay, there's a playing card. Now, you guys narrowed it down from 52 down to 1. And Heidi, you had the final decision. And it is the Queen of Diamonds. <laughs> Whoops. Magic. <laughs> Now, as cool as that was, I know what you're thinking. You still would have loved to see a Blue Jay. But I'm not kidding. I am very allergic to Blue Jays. So this is the next best thing. Thank you so much. Yes, isn't my fiance awesome? She's actually here tonight up there in the balcony. Wave, Nikki. Hi, Nikki. Actually, Nikki and I have this nerdy debate going between the two of us about superpowers. And the big debate is about the two most common ones, the superpower of flight and the superpower of invisibility. And which would you choose if you had the choice? So I thought I'd demonstrate both of them for you this evening. Simon, what I want you to do is touch the back of any card. Go for it. Just go back a little bit. Let's see, Just which one? Back. Yep, yep, yep. One. This one right here, OK? Yeah. I'm going to have you look at that card, Simon, and memorize it. I got it. And it is the 10 of clubs. That's not magic. I can see it in the monitor behind you, so sorry. <laughs> that was dumb. OK, but watch. What I'm going to do is I'm going to tear off the corner of the tin and have you hold on to that for me. And first, I'm going to demonstrate the power of invisibility. Watch as the piece becomes invisible. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Now, Nikki's favorite superpower is flight. So if I cause that piece to fly through the air, and land in the box. Heidi, if you wouldn't mind, grab that box right there and dump out what's inside. There's a little piece, maybe. Yes? Make sure it matches Simon. Make sure the piece matches the card. Yeah. There you go. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. 
Now that's, that's invisibility and that's flight with playing cards. But what if I could do that with myself? So tonight, it's AGT NBC Live semifinals here at the Dolby Theater. I brought this scissor lift and I thought we would up the magic. So what I'm gonna do for all of you is take my magic to the next level. Thank you. So first, invisibility. Now, the only awkward thing about invisibility is I can only make my body invisible, not my clothes. So let me take off this shirt. Won't be needing that. And <laughs> let me get rid of these pants. Won't be needing those. Hope this works. I present to you invisibility in three, two, one. I'm invisible. Nailed it. So, now that I have nailed invisibility, I will present to you the power of flight. The power of flight. In three, two, one. I'm up here in the front. Prediction in a bottle. I wrote something down and we're gonna set it right by you, Simon. Now, the last time I was here, I did the drawing. So I thought we'd mix this up and I'm gonna put these poster boards in front of you. You guys have markers in front of you guys. And what I want you to do, make sure nobody can see this, but I want you to draw something and keep it to yourself, okay? So hold it close to you. Draw whatever you want. Draw, Simon, keep it close to you means like put it up against your chest so I can't see it, dude. All right, here's the deal. It's a personality test. So you can actually figure out a lot about people and what they're thinking, what they're believing, their hopes and their dreams. Dudes draw like axes and swords and Viking ships. Chicks draw like birds and flowers, you know, and sunshines. So when nobody can see this, everybody put them face down. All right, are they all face down on the table? Yes. Okay, I don't want to see anything. Mel B, collect them all, and I want you to shuffle them up so you don't know the order and I don't know the order. All right, and now we're going to try and get in the heads of these guys and women. Hand me whatever one you want. Face down, don't look. Oh, perfect. Oh, oh, this is beautiful. Now, um, as you guys can see, this is kind of a smaller hearted person. I, I, I like the big hearts, but this is a, a little tiny heart. But I see success in this one. And if we actually go with this, I mean, Heidi, I, I think you have a big heart. Melby, I think you do too. But for some reason, this heart is leading me to you. Did you draw this? Yeah, I did. Hey, there, one more. Hey, we're one for one. We're one for one. Hey, give me another one. Give me another one. All right, here we go. Oh, this is perfect. I love it. You know what this reminds me of? Big guy in a little coat. So look, Howie, I love it. But Simon, I'm just guessing. I don't know, but this looks like something you'd wear. I'm guessing. No, it is my It is yours. It's my sweater. That's your sweater. That's why I came over to you. Two for two. Give me one. Give me one. Oh, this is great. This is great because believe it or not, people will actually do self-portraits on how they view themselves. Somebody that flies in the wind. Now, Simon, I love you, man. I, I, I don't think this is yours. So, Heidi, I'm just going to guess that you're the butterfly of the group. <laughs> All right, now we got one left. Yes. We got one left. Now, hold on. We got one left, and it's obviously, Simon, it's obviously yours. So I'm going to try and guess what this is. So I don't want to see it. Heidi, I'm going to take your butterfly. We're going to go like this. Simon, I'm going to draw a sketch. All I want you to do is think about what you drew. Okay. Don't lie to me. I okay? Won. Don't be that guy. I would. <laughs> okay. I got this. Think about your drawing. Simon, a simple yes or no will do. My drawing will match yours. Did you draw a pickle on a treadmill? No. No. Ladies and gentlemen, as predicted, no. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Now, hold on, that's not very good. America wants to see what you drew, Simon, so let's check this out. Oh, this, this is totally, uh, I don't know if that's a machine gun. It's a dog. That's a dog? <laughs> a big nose. A wow. Big dog. <laughs> okay, uh, that's a, a beautiful dog. Now, before we started, before we started, I actually, I, I had a premonition and I put it in this bottle and I thought I would draw what you drew. So do me a favor and, and take that bottle and hand it to Heidi. Okay. Heidi, hold it loose. I, I don't want it to break too bad in your hand. 
and then. Oh my gosh. Oh no, really? Oh. I, I got practice in the morning, so I gotta, I gotta protect these. So Simon, why don't you hold this okay. and smash the bottle oh close my to. Oh Hold on, this is a bad idea. This is a really bad idea. I have an idea. Hold on, hold on. This is better. I, I, I learned that, you know, when in doubt, it's always a good thing to wrap it up. So do me a favor and throw the bottle in the bag. All right, perfect. Now Simon, bust it open. Okay, um, on three, but I, I guess that'll work. Um, <laughs> okay. There's a. I, I, okay. There's a prediction in there, and it's in, and, and I made this self-explanatory with a little red tab that says open. Okay. No, no, turn it over. Yeah, right there. Yeah, okay, yeah a little red it. tab. See that? I got it. And I thought, man, Simon, for whatever reason, I thought you were gonna draw a really bad dog. In fact, I thought it would look like a machine gun. No. But now, hold on, hold on. Turn the envelope over. It's self-labeled secret pocket. Come on, man. Not only did I predict your drawing, but take those out. I said, you know what? I no, think, I think Heidi no is gonna be a butterfly. No way, no way. And you know what? I said, Howie, I knew it was you all along, my man. Because here we have a t-shirt and your sweater. And I tell you what, Mel B, you are the heart of my life. Mel B, there's your heart. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm John Dornbach. Yes. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. All right, here's what I wanted to do. We're going to do a trick with the twos, because I love them. You have a Sharpie in front of you. I want you each to sign the twos. Go ahead and write your name on there, and it's a great way to get an autograph. Ha. Uh, Simon, if you do me a favor, I want you to write the name of somebody that meant a lot to you in your life. It could be a nickname. It could be a person. It doesn't matter. But somebody that was okay. important to you. Yeah, yeah, on that card. Okay. Yep. All right. Howie, we got your two. Yep. Mel B, we got yours. Heidi, we got yours. And Simon, we can all see it. Yeah, it's okay. I, I've seen this trick. <laughs> you wrote the name <laughs> Eric. Who is Eric? My son. I love this. Remember that, okay? Uh, today, <laughs> today I wanted to take an opportunity to tell America what magic has meant to me. Magic saved my life. And uh, there have been plenty of times where I was lost and I didn't have the answers. And I didn't know where to go. So what I did is I turned to magic. And it helped me find myself. It simply taught me, don't hate, don't blame, and forgive. And with that, I think we can all find ourselves. Don't hate. Imagine if we take all the hate out of our lives. Howie, I believe we will find ourselves. Wow. Mel B, may we all take the blame out and fill our hearts with love. And I believe we will find ourselves. Wow. Heidi, I've had a lot of things happen in my life, and forgiveness has given me the most beautiful thing in the world, and that's happiness. May we all forgive a little more, and we will find ourselves. Wow. Simon, we're going to shuffle these cards face up and face down. And if you think about it, this right here, this is life. When everything is going so perfect, and yet tragedy and chaos, they strike us when we least expect it. And it's what we all have in common. We all face this. But I think the difference is do we decide and do we choose to live in vision or do we live in circumstance? And I don't know about you guys, but I wake up every single morning and I choose to live in vision, to find happiness, knowing that life will work its way out and we will find ourselves. Thank you. I tell you what, every one of us can relate to this. When life just kicks us when we're down, in those moments that life just decides to bury us. But if we stick together and we believe in one another, we will rise to the top. And ladies and gentlemen, that is how we will never lose ourselves. A minute ago, a minute ago, I told you guys that magic saved my life. The magic's not in these hands, it's not in these cards. It's in every one of us. It's in our breath, it's in our touch, it's in our words. It's what we think about this world and what we think about each other. And Simon, I had you write the name Eric, and I thought I'd make a little to-do list for you. Every night, may the magic forever live in your home. Grab your son and tell Eric you love him. And cross that off your list every single night. And ladies and gentlemen, May this world be magic. I love you. This has been one of the greatest opportunities of my life. 
I am John Dornbus. Peace out, ladies and gentlemen. John Dornbus. Good evening, judges, and good evening to all the viewers watching from around the world. My sister Brooklyn is holding in her hands four pair of regulation police handcuffs. She will be passing those out to each of the judges for their examination. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. And Mr. Howie, Hi. please don't try to lock up Miss Melby in these. <laughs> Hi. Hi. Once you've inspected those handcuffs, I'm going to ask each of you to lock them around my wrists. Okay. Well, they are real. Yes, they are real. Yeah. Wow. There you go. Wow. There we go. You sure about this? Yes, I am. It's like Heidi's house, right? Oh. How do you know? <laughs> She told us. I'm taking the keys and placing them inside this box in case anything goes wrong. Inside we have bolt cutters, a box of bandages, and a peanut butter jelly sandwich. In case I get hungry. Tonight, I'm going to attempt to do something no kid has ever done before. It's the live shows, and it's time to raise the bar. we've been on America's Got Talent. All of our friends have wanted to be on television too. Tonight, they're gonna get their chance. America, say hello to my fifth grade class, Miss Medillacuddy's class. <laughs> Mr. Simon, we need your help. We're going to ask you to choose someone in this fu Oh, all except my teacher. Mr. Simon, which row would you like? Row one or two? Uh, Mr. Simon would like row one, please. <laughs> row one? Okay, row one it is. Now, Miss Heidi, please pick a number one through six. Uh, three. Three? Okay. One, two, three. You chose Rebecca. Grab this, sis. Let's show them the trick that we taught Harry Potter how to do. Ready, set, go! Hi, Rebecca. Hey, Kaden. You know, that's really not fair. They're all going to be jealous because only Rebecca got to come. Don't worry, sis. I've got a plan. Come on, give me a hand. Hey, 
Julia. Hey, look, there's Alex. Hey, look, there's Nicole. Hey, Angelica. America, my fifth grade class. Thank you. As a small child, I could have never imagined that this tiny cube of colors would lead me to the biggest stage on earth and the greatest honor of my life, the semifinals of America's Got Talent. Tonight, we're gonna attempt something bigger than I've ever done before. We have a giant tower of Rubik's Cubes right here. We have over 204 Rubik's Cubes stacked up. To give you an idea how many mix-up that is, there's actually more ways to mix up this tower than atoms in the known universe. I want you to watch close. But instead of doing something giant tonight, before we do that, I thought I'd begin where everything all started, me and a single Rubik's Cube. So I'm gonna do down by the judges, Simon. Can you actually help me out? Yes, no fire. Here's my question, Simon. No Is that cube still mixed up on those sides? Right? Yes. Absolutely, yeah. watch that close. We're gonna mix it up just a little bit from completely mixed up, completely How solved. Do you do that? Now that's two-handed mixing the cubes. Oh. This time we're gonna step it up just a bit. We have this cube, you can look at that. We're gonna do it one-handed, but twice as hard. One-handed, but behind the back, Howie, you're gonna catch it, both hands out, Howie. Here's my question, Howie, is that cube still mixed up? Yes, it is. Yes, it is, watch. One-handed, you better catch it though, watch. One-handed, behind the back when Howie catches it. Shut up! Completely oh, solved. God. Look at that. that oh my God, how do you do? That's amazing. Simon and Howie, hold on to these cubes. Melby and Heidi, I have two cubes for you. Don't mix them up yet. Okay. Right now, I need the help of Nick Cannon. Nick Cannon, join me on stage, please. How does he do that? Nick, right here, we have a deck of celebrity cards. I want you to look close. We have Tom Hanks right here. Okay. We have Snoop Dogg. Snoop Dogg. Justin Bieber, etc. Emma Stone, Beyonce. You would actually go through, you could see all the cards are completely different in there. Yes. Nick, I want you to use your intuition. Whenever you get a feeling, okay. I want you to stop on any card that you want. So we're gonna deal them down in a pile here. Say the word stop whenever you want. Okay. Uh, stop. As many as you want, perfect. Stop. Take that card, don't look at it yet, very important. If you stopped on the card earlier, we would have got Lady Gaga. Nice. Right, one card later, we also get The Rock. I like him a lot. Smell and very, very important, you can actually see through all the cards are completely different in the deck. Yes. Nick, hold your card close to your heart. Don't look at it yet. Judges, start mixing your cubes. <laughs> now, Nick, you're gonna tell each judge to stop in any order that you want. And okay. judges, put your cubes down. But wait, if I took your cubes back with my hands, you would accuse me of cube sleight of hand. So I have an anti-cube sleight of hand device right over here. So, Nick, get started. Uh, okay, uh, Mel. Yes. Stop. Stop. Perfect, Mel. I'll take it back. Thank you. Next one, Nick. Uh, Simon. Simon. Stop. Thank you so much, Simon. Thank you. Yeah, Heidi. Stop. Heidi, you can place it down. Perfect. Last but not least, anytime you want. Howie. Stop it. Okay. Right there. <laughs> perfect. All four cubes mixed up by the judges. My hands have not touched them. Nick, draw me back by the tower of cubes for me. Okay. Perfect, Nick, we have four holes. We have one, two, three, and four. We're gonna choose a cube, choose a hole. One, two, three, or four. This one. Number yeah. two right over there, yes. we're gonna place it right in. We have one, three, and four. Your choice, Nick, any one you want. The bottom one. The bottom, which one's the bottom one? There's two, perfect. Two left, there's one and four. Which one do you want, Nick? Uh, we'll go up top. Up top, right over there. And last but not least, you left the last cube right down towards the corner near you. Yes. Right in there. Nick, you decided everything. You chose which holes. You told the celebrity to stop. You chose which card you wanted. For the first time, Nick, I want you to name your celebrity out loud so everyone could hear you. Brad Pitt. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you Brad Pitt. Wow. That's pretty impressive. I have no idea how you did that. So I decided since I didn't use all the judges, I want to come down one more time uh, up close to you and do something amazing. Melby, really important question with the Rubik's Cube. I'm going to start to mix it up. Uh, here's my question. Is that Rubik's Cube still mixed up on all six sides, yes or no? 
It looks like it, yes. yes. I want you to watch close. If I turn the Rubik's Cube one time, that's still going to be mixed up. The cheating happens the moment. You throw it straight up in the air. <laughs> this time, twice as hard. We're going to take the Rubik's Cube. It's going to happen right in front of your face. If you actually blink, you're going to miss it. Watch. Completely mixed up from there, less than a millisecond. <gasps> we do that. That's ridiculous. This is making me nervous. Reba, can you help me out? Sure. Awesome. I'm going to step right up here. Reba, hold out your left hand flat for me there. Everyone watch the bottom of the Rubik's Cube closely. Watch that close. Like that. Now, your job is to guard that Rubik's Cube to the very end of the trick. Can you do that? Yep. Fantastic. Because nothing's going to happen. Don't worry about it. OK. And we're going to do a card trick real quick during this moment. Um, Heidi, can you actually help me select the card? Yeah. Fantastic. Before you select the card, really, really important, I'm going to make sure to give that deck a really good shuffle. So as I go through the cards, <laughs> any card that you want, it's a completely free choice out of 52. Heidi, when you see a card you want, name it out loud, yes. any one you want. The Six of Diamonds. The Six of <laughs> Diamonds. Wait, okay, that card in the middle. Very important question. Have I touched that Rubik's Cube, Reba, since nope. I gave it to you? No, sir. Everyone watch the Six of Diamonds closely. Watch that close. Did you turn it up? Watch that tiny little corner piece. I'm not moving my eyes off. You can look at it. Yeah. I'm going to get that tiny little corner piece to completely disappear from my hand, fly in the air, and land underneath the Rubik's Cube in Reba's hand. Oh, no, you can't do that. Oh, no. If that corner piece is under, that'd be amazing, right? Yes. yes. Reba, lift it up slowly in a loud, clear voice. Is the corner underneath there? No. That no. That would have been awesome. It would have been. <laughs> I'm going to do one better. That tiny corner piece is going to go inside the Rubik's Cube in your hand. Heidi, can you hold impossible. on to the six of diamonds uh -huh. just like this? That's impossible. It is now inside. My hands are empty. I'll take the cube back. I want you to watch really, really closely. I'm going to yes. take off a tiny little piece right there. If I actually break off that tiny little corner piece, everyone's going to notice we're going to have a tiny little oh. Do you mind unfolding that corner piece? That's crazy. No, no, no. No, 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 no. Yes, it is. No, 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 no. no. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Jonathan Goodwin, and I am the Daredevil. Now, I have something very special planned for you this evening, so let me talk you through the ingredients. This is a bed of spikes. Each one of these is two feet tall, and as sharp as a very sharp thing. I also have uh, a melon, distant cousin of mine, and Howie's. <laughs> a natural enemy of a bed of spikes. Now, as well as the spikes, I also have this rope. The bottom of the rope is a piece of webbing. I'm going to bite down onto that webbing and be lifted 20 feet into the air, holding on just by my teeth. The spikes are going to be underneath me, and my hands are going to be handcuffed behind my back. Actually, uh, Nick, do you have the handcuffs? These are police regulation handcuffs. You've been playing with them. Would you do me the honors? Sure. I appreciate it. Now, I think you also have a bent piece of wire, which I'm going to use as a pick to try and escape from the cuffs. Do you yep. have that? If you could put that into my fingers, I would appreciate it. Wish me luck. Good luck. There's one thing that I forgot to mention. The rope that is suspending me is going to be on fire. I have to escape from the handcuffs and grab a rescue line before the rope burns through. This is called Iron Jaw.
Let's hear it for Darcy Oath from the Illusionist. Thank you, YouTube. Thank you for watching on air and online. And to subscribe, just uh, click below and comment.